Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We are all set up here in the production facility. We are going to be doing our brick test. Dad went out yesterday morning. Brick and pH. Brick and pH, sorry. Dad went out yesterday afternoon and picked out our samples. And later today, we might go out and show how you did that. So we picked our, Dad picked the Edelweiss. The Itasca, the Reliance, the Brianna, and he picked and crushed already the front neck block. So what we'll do is go through and you smash up all the grapes inside of here to juice them out. And then once you do that, then you pour it into the glass and once you pour it into the glass, I'll move these samples out of the way here. You take eyedropper, grape dropper, and then you take your refractometer, which is what reads the sugar. And I will put a picture in on what it looks like inside of here when you look through the eyeglass. So you take your, your grape dropper, Eyedropper. It's a grape dropper. It's an eyedropper. Grape dropper. And you want to put three drops on it. And smash it down level. And then you look through. You want to make sure you're looking at a light to make it nice and bright through there. And this one reads at... About 17.8. So that's what the bricks are on it. This is what reads the bricks. So we'll jot down that it's 17.8. And then we will go on to the next one. But how you smash the grapes, here we'll just, you just go through and you just go through and smash each individual one. Try not to break the bag. I don't have to show you guys exactly how you do it, but you just smash it up like that and you just work your way around the bag until all of them are all smashed. And then you squeeze, squeeze the juice out into one of the glasses and that is how you do your brick test. So then maybe we'll show how you do the pH Jeez. test next. So stay tuned for that. We got all of our brick tests all done. So we have everything wrote down on our paper. So we're gonna start with our Edelweiss. We got this all cleaned up. This is our pH reader. So it gives you your readouts there. And you just put it down in the juice, stir it around, and then you just kind of let it set. about 3.2625. So then it'll give you a readout and yeah. So that's how you do your pH test. So we will continue to go on, we'll rinse it out and we will go on and we will do the rest of them. Okay, we are back out here in the vineyard. Um, we got to looking at our records and Frontenac was one of the earlier ones that we picked last year. So we're out here getting the samples for being able to do the Frontenac brick test and pH test. So what dad's doing, he's just going, whoops, he's just going randomly throughout the row. What does it figure about every other plant? Yeah, about every other plant on these ones because they're smaller berries, if you didn't catch what he said. So um, we'll go down this side of the row and then we will go down the other side of the row. No, we're going to go over two rows. Oh, never mind. Scratch that. We're going to go over two rows and just do a sample side on this row, one side. And he's just kind of reaching in at random, not looking. So that's how 
I mean, that's how we do our our field samples. Some people may do it different ways, but that's how we've kind of always done it. That's kind of how we were taught how to do it. So that's how we do it. So we will get uh, these done and then we will get those back to the winery and we'll run those two tests, see where we're at. Um, but it looks like we're gonna try to pick next week on Monday. Today is Wednesday. So we're gonna try to pick on Monday. Um, hopefully the front neck's far enough along that we'll be able to pick it. Um, and that'll kind of help be one of the days because we'll pick twice next week. Hopefully um, we'll pick a couple things one day, bring them in, get them processed, and then we will pick again the next day and then process them. And that way we keep the doy day, doys, keep the days shorter um, on picking. So we're able to go through and get everything processed easily within 24 hours. Um, we like to get things processed as fast as possible. So you don't have anything, you don't have to worry about anything fermenting on the skins or pulling any flavors out that you don't really want. So pretty excited that we're getting to this point of the year because this is kind of the more exciting part of it. Unless you like pruning, then that's, I guess. But harvesting's the best part. So um, yeah, gonna be putting out a lot of videos. So stay tuned for that. I think uh, I'm gonna go back to the winery. Uh, Dad's gotta run to town. So I'm gonna go back to the winery and get, I got a tank to get transferred over to a different tank. So then it's out of the way for when we're processing. And then I think this afternoon before dad puts any kind of spray down, um, we'll put our uh, aerial application on. Uh, it's, it keep a, or is it aerial? I don't know what it's called. I don't know, it's bird repellent, uh, kind of irritant to birds. Uh, we put that down, kind of scares them off. And it's complete safely, it's completely safe spray so put that down versus putting nets um, we just don't really have time to do that it's a lot of work for us so we get that down but we're going to get the couple Edelweiss posts fixed so I'll show you that um, got my nephew out here today so I'll let him do some of the videoing when we're uh, trying to pull those posts back over so Okay, so this is the area that the post ended up snapping off. You can see it just snapped off the ground and leaned the whole row over. So what we got to do is we'll get holes dug just off to the side of these. And we will go through and we'll start down there. We'll probably put one of the tractors just about at that first post down there that broke. And then we'll come over here to, uh, I'm guessing probably about this post. And what we'll do is, more than likely, we'll step down on it. And then we'll slowly raise the row back up over straight. And we will have the post, we'll butt it up to the post. And yeah, it's a pretty simple process. It just takes time. Um, like I said, we had to do, I think this row well it might have actually done this row too um but just down here a ways but we did this row we straightened it out uh we had quite a bit of posts that broke out of it so we went and put t post in that year um this year we're just going to put the metal post in i think i'm not 100 percent sure i'll have to ask dad but we'll show you that whole process um but yeah so get that done work on that and then be on to the next thing so just i give you guys a little preview of what kind of what it'll look like so all right stay tuned and pretty excited to show everybody what we got going on so all right well thanks everybody for watching um probably well i don't know why yeah thanks for watching um we'll probably do that later too
because we really appreciate everybody watching and we're we're glad that people have interest in uh, our way of life so all right i'll quit rambling so and we'll get back to it